And we're back. Hello, everybody. So, this will be my last reading until I do more. I have two more that I need to work on. Um, but this is it. So, with that being said, this is a personalized reading for someone in my tarot Facebook page group. And he didn't give me any information to go on. So this is all what I see in the card. And um, I'm thinking if I want to do it here or if I want to go back inside. No, fuck it. It's only three cards. <laughs> this will be a short one. Uh, I wanted to pull out my Magdalene Oracle deck, which this is the back and this is the front. This is also the first card, and you guys have seen this before in my weekly tarot vlogs, but I wanted to do it for this one too, to show people kind of the difference between the messages and how they relate to people and their tarot spreads. So this guy didn't give me any information to go on. He just said, a lot of stuff is going on in my life, just pick three cards. I didn't even think he said that. He just said, just do whatever. So this is me doing whatever. <laughs> um, I picked a daily three card spread and I'm going to go through the numbers and what they mean and the card that I pulled and my interpretation of the card. So we have the daily three card spread and they're what to be aware of what to remember and what to let go of. So first we're going to talk about what you need to be aware of and you have this beautiful card. I wrote um, the assumptions you're making about someone could turn out completely wrong. For every theory there is an opposing one, an opposite and opposing one. Uh, there's more here than meets the eye. You're being, you're being advised to keep your heart and mind open. Uh, there is no clear-cut right and wrong situation. There's truth to every opinion. Things will eventually become clearer as time goes on. Meaning, if you're in a situation where you don't know what is happening, I think it's because you're not meant to know what's happening. So what you could do is just take a time out, some time to breathe, and the farther you get away from something and you let it go and then you just move on and try to get through each day, the more clarity you have to look back at something. When you're still lost in the muck of um, emotions and all of that stuff that gets clouded in there, it's hard to tell why the situation is happening to you. So just be open-minded and open-hearted about what comes your way and later on things will become clear. Alright, and then you have card number two, which is Surrender. The thing I like about these cards, they're so pretty, but they're not always like this, they have beautiful pictures like this too. Um, we're going to get to that one in a minute. This is what to remember. Sure, now they go inside. Jerks. Alright. <laughs> okay. The harder you try to control a situation, the more happiness eludes you. Um, the only thing you can really do is to surrender to the universe and trust that everything works out for a reason. Things will happen the way that they're meant to happen regardless of how much you think a specific outcome should happen. Um, the only thing that you can control are your thoughts, or can't control, can kind of control your thoughts, but not really, but you can control how you deal with them 
and you can control yourself in the situation. Like if something is happening that you think is wrong and you have a certain way and the other person is having a different way of thinking about things in your butting heads. Uh, like I said about the first card, there's more than meets the eye, the eye to the situation and the important thing to remember is that everyone has their own truth. It may not be your truth, it might not be my truth, but it's a uh, truth. People are distracting me, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so that's just something that you should remember while dealing with all of this. And then you have the last card, which is what to let go of. Now this card looks to me there's like a waterfall happening and there's trees. It's like letting go. It's like but um, you need to learn how to let go of the parts of you that you have deemed unlovable. You're causing yourself much unnecessary suffering by thinking that you need to improve before you can really be happy with yourself. Uh, in the upcoming weeks, pay attention to your thoughts. Uh, whenever you feel like you aren't perfect or you hate something about yourself, turn it around and see what happens. I don't want to sound cliche, but there's this pink song that I like called Perfect. And in the second verse, um, it says, You're so mean when you talk about yourself, you were wrong. Change the voices in your head, make them like you instead. And that's really what this card is telling me, is to let go of everything that you hate about yourself, that you don't like, that things that happened to you and you didn't deal with it right in a situation, or in the past, just let it go, just let it go. And the things that you're hiding from the world and the people around you are the things <laughs> that, <laughs> that people love about you. And just keep that in mind and you'll be surprised at once you start opening up to people and saying, yeah, I'm not perfect, but this is me anyway and I'm going to own up to it. Just see how many people are like, wow, that is really amazing. Thank you. Thank you. So, that is pretty much it. Uh, I hope you liked this. Thank you for letting me do a reading for you. I really appreciate it. And if anyone else would like me to do a reading for them, just please let me know. And have a beautiful Wednesday. Alright. Thank you.